so this is a plan in AutoCAD now this plan we will uh, make a PDF first to import in Photoshop so I'll just go in layout and uh, there's a one plus point in layout when you double click inside you can zoom uh, here and when you double click outside you can you can adjust the layout itself so many uh, many of your drawings it will not look like this it will some around the drawing will be some around here or somewhere so to just adjust you just have to double click and the best way press Z enter and you can specify from this to this so it will zoom it just slight one more time and make this one yes now we can adjust point to point and just double click outside the box now the layout is ready for the printout there's a layout one I'll say plot and say PDF to PDF and don't change anything here over here because we are following uh, the the layout so we'll take one is to one so if there is no one is to one the printout will not look like this so whatever we have to see uh, we are seeing right now we have to print it as it is so what to plot it will be on layout and if you are not sure what you are doing it if we have to test the settings just say preview now this is what we will be getting so I'll just press escape and say ok now I'll just save my drawings I'll just save my uh, this drawing now I'll go in Photoshop just start my photo so now I've just opened my PDF plan so you can just say fit to page you can see the plan and we can keep the setting as it is and say just ok and this is the way we put the plan and we just now add one more layer and we'll take it to back so this is the plan first we will name it because it's always good to name the whatever we have taken plan say PG that is background and it will be white so I'll fill the white color this is the background color to fill the background color I am pressing control backspace so now this is what we got so now uh, first uh, we'll start everything uh, from this plan so for the flooring uh, we will take the different things for zoom in zoom out you can press control plus and zoom out control minus I'll take one more layer and say name it flooring F L O R flooring I'll just go to this button I'll say pattern here are a lot more of things so just will set off some more patterns for it I'll say open so there are two texture choices for us now I'll take this first say selection you can say control A for this and go to edit and say define pattern I'll say ok let's come to your page plan and I'll click on this and say pattern so in this pattern we can fill this but what happens it uh, gives the entire uh, it enter fills entire thing so for this purpose we have to go for selection I'll go and select plan and take magic wand I'm select on the flooring just select the flooring I don't want this bedroom the first will take everything in this and uh, yeah this one also so these two bed bedrooms will be premium one and this yes so now I'll take click on flooring I'll say 
pattern now this can this can be done like this and we can come down with the scaling also or we can increase the scaling also for this thing I should go for wood I'll go control A again for selection go edit and say define pattern I come to here click on pattern so I'll come down with the scaling say 15 snap to origin say ok so now this is what we want one by one to do in the plan so now again I'll go for the selection of the walls click on plan then only do the selection S uh, click on add so it will give the add selection we want this this entire walls should taken into account just we have to take this it's not happening no problem we'll deal it later on it's very easy to make such kind of corrections later on which giving us trouble this this and I think we have done this one this one only this one is remaining because the line is not there no problem we will do with this no this is not a wall sorry so I'll just take one more layer say walls take some solid color not from here and from here the reason because we I'm going from here I can I'll tell you right now take solid color I'll go on dark blue shade some around dark blue shade will look nice this is fine and any given point of time that we feel that color is not good I can just double click and I can just take whatever color I feel then I can go again and can say ok and that is done so it's very handy tool to work with so in next lesson uh, we'll do all those uh, bedroom bed sheets and many more things in remaining things so thanks for watching my this tutorial if you have any kind of doubts or if you want any kind of tutorial do let me know um, that so i can make for you and thanks for watching meet you in second part